Hi everyone, welcome back. Today is going to be my updated everyday makeup drawer for the month of May. I forgot, I filmed the whole video and realized I didn't make an intro, so that's why I've already got my makeup done, but if you're not familiar with these videos, I do this every month, typically at the beginning of the month, and I go through my makeup collection with you and pick out some new products to focus on in my everyday makeup drawer that I have sitting here on my filming desk, and then we do our makeup together with some of the new products. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. If you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll subscribe and let's get started. Okay, so this is everything I've had in for the past month. So I feel like, again, I successfully used a lot of these products that I have in here. So this was just my powders, primers, um, correctors, and then two of my skin tints. In here, I had a bunch of concealers here. I feel like I used all of them, which is always good. This is the one that I'm honestly liking the most right now out of these four. This Flower Beauty Get Real Serum Concealer is really good, and it's the only drugstore one in the whole group but I've really been liking it. I had the Gucci foundation in, which I loved. I've loved the Merit Sticks. This is the only one I haven't used a ton, and I think it's just because of the whole skincare thing. I guess you're supposed to use little to no skincare with this, and that is just very far outside my routine that I normally do, so I haven't used that much. Um, but pretty much everything else I have, like I've used all the lips, all these lip liners, all these brow products. Still loving um, this one from Rare Beauty, the brow powder duo. Um, so yeah, I feel like I've used a ton of stuff this month. I've also definitely used all of my blushes and bronzers that I kept in here. Um, so I have my project pan stuff in here as well. This drawer I use a little bit, not a ton. I don't wear eyeshadow on a daily basis, so sometimes I find I don't use the eye products as much. So I might even end up keeping like maybe the BK Beauty palette in here just because I used it, but I didn't use it a ton. I did use the single shadows and my Surratt in my essence though, so there is that. And then this is all of my skincare. So I typically kind of leave this the same. I definitely want to keep this in the Kosas SPF. This is brand new to me, so I'm still kind of testing it out, but the rest of this stuff will probably stay the same. But as always, I'm gonna take this over there and we will put everything away and then we'll pick out some new products. So now, as always, we'll pick out some new products. We'll start with primer, concealer, corrector, and foundation. We'll start with primers. Um, okay, I think I want to put this in, the Iconic London Underglow Blurring Primer. This is kind of a good mix between blurring and a radiant primer. I find this one is not as blurring as like this one, the Cali Ray primer. So I kind of like that it's in between. So I think I'll do that. And then I know I want to put in 
at least one of my glowier priming products. I might put in Say again, but do it in Sun Glow this time. This one is the one that's more of like a bronzy color. And I'm about to start self tanning again here soon. So I think I might put that in. Honestly, might put my Hydra Grip or no. Maybe I'll put in this this time. I haven't used my Makeup Forever Redness Corrector Primer in a while. So yeah, we'll do that. So that should be good for a primer. Now for foundation and skin tints. Um, okay, the first thing I definitely want to do is this Bobbi Brown Skin Logwear Weightless Foundation. I got sent this for something I was doing on Instagram and I've used it a few times but not a ton. So I really want to try this again and just test it out more. Um, I think I'm also going to put this in Tower 28 Summer, not Summer Days, Sunny Days Tinted Moisturizer. This, I believe, yeah, it expires in August of this year. And this is a really great product for this time of year because it gives you coverage, but SPF as well. So I think I will also put that in. Maybe this. I haven't used this lately. The Synchro Skin radiant lifting foundation from shiseido i've been using the concealer a ton but not the foundation so maybe we'll do that and then i also have my fenty skin tint in as well because this is in my project pan so i just left that out and okay i think that is good for foundation and then for concealer okay i think well actually let me do corrector first. I'm going to put in these, the EXA correctors in pink and peach. This pink one is new to me. I haven't had it too long, but I have been using it and I really like mixing it with the peach one. So I think I'll do those two. And then I also have my Sigma color corrector out already. That's in my project pan that I will also keep out. Um, okay, we're definitely going to put in my new Givenchy concealer, that's super new. I got that during the Sephora sale. I think I might put in my Maybelline Age Rewind concealer too. I haven't used this lately, but this is actually a pretty good color for me. So I'll stick that in. I like to have lots of options with concealers. I think I'll put in the Tom Ford concealer as well. This is my new one. Um, so I wanna try that a bit more. And then one more I'm going to do is the Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. I think that should be good. For powder, I think I might put in the Rare Beauty Loose Powder. I got this for my Rare Beauty video and I like it, but I want to use it. A little bit more so I think we'll do that for a loose powder. I also already have my Kosas powder in because that's in my project pan and I think I will also stick in this Pat McGrath under eye powder as well. So that should be it for setting powders. For highlights, um, kind of want to put in my Rare Beauty highlighter. I already have uh, one in, which is kind of, I don't know, kind of similar, I guess. Benefit Cookie is in my project pan, but I don't know. I just really want to use this. Or the only other thing kind of in the mood to use is this Dior highlighting quad. Yeah, I think actually I'm going to go for that. I don't know why, but that I just kind of had to change apart. Blush and bronzer. This is what I always, I always have such a hard time with this category. And I have so many new things from the Sephora sale and things I've been sent. I just, it's hard to choose. Anyway, okay, the first thing I'm going to do is pick blush. So I know I want to use one of my Armani Luminous Silk blushes. At least one, maybe two. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna put this one in. You know me and my hot pink blushes. This one is shade 52. It's just a beautiful hot pink. It's so, these are so nice. If you're wanting to splurge on a blush, they are really beautiful. This one is, I mean, honestly, they're all pretty. 51 is more of like a rose. And then 50 is more of like a peachy pink. This one is kind of similar to NARS Orgasm, but they're all really pretty. Okay, and then I know I want to put in this blush. This is Persona in the shade Georgia. It's a really beautiful peachy pink. I love for this time of year especially. So I'm definitely gonna put that in. Okay, I feel that it would not be right to not put a Rare Beauty blush in here. So I'm gonna do the really light pink, which is Bliss. Ooh, you know what else we might put in actually? So these are um, the Nude Sticks blushes, Sunkissed and Picante. If you've been anywhere on the internet, I'm sure you have seen Sophia Richie's makeup, her wedding makeup that's just gotten so much attention. And her makeup artist used these blushes on her these two colors and I actually already had them so I feel like it would be wrong not to put those in let's do one of these essence pure nude blushes this is the shimmering rose one this is super light it could almost be a highlighter or like a blush topper but I'm gonna put that in too okay so my bronzers are over on this side so let's choose some new stuff okay I'm gonna use Persona Dune, or I'm going to put it in. I have not used this one lately, and I really like this for spring and summer when it gets warmer. So I'm definitely going to put that one in. We are also going to put this in, you guys, the Gucci bronzer in shade number one. I used it in an Instagram video a few days ago. I have tried every shade of this at this point. This is my most recent one, and I think I have finally found one that I love. This, when I used it the other day, I really, really liked it. So I want to put this in so I can use it. Some more what do we have in here? I want to put everything in because I feel like I have some new stuff. Okay, let's do this too. NARS Laguna 01 uh, for another cream bronzer. These are new from Jane Iredale. So they have two different bronzers. They have the matte one, which looks like this. And then there are some that they call like, I forget if they call these like shimmering bronzers. This one is more of a bronzy shade, but they make them that are more like blush shades. These are really new. I've used them a few times, but not in videos. Those in, I just have so many new bronzers that I want to use all of them. Oh, like I also want to put this in. The Sephora Collection bronzer that I fell in love with when I tried it. I don't want to put in too many though. Maybe we'll do the Sephora one instead of these. I just don't want to put in too many and then not get to use them. I think that's good for in here. All right, let's do some brow products. Okay, I'm gonna do the Morphe Brow Wax to have a brow wax in. I'm gonna do Makeup by Mario Clear Brow Gel, and then maybe a tinted brow gel too. I think I'll put in this Glossier Boy Brow. This is the brown one. Yeah, the shade brown just to have a tinted one in. Let's do my CoverGirl one again. I haven't used this one lately because um, I've been mainly using my L'Oreal Brow Stylist. But we'll do that one for something different. All right, we're putting e.l.f. Lash and Roll back in to use it up because I'm pretty confident that this is almost <laughs> totally dried out. But I'm going to use every single drop of it. I'm gonna do Tower 28. Oh no, you know what? Actually, no, we're gonna use this one. This is brand new to me. I actually just opened this. I got this in PR and I've only used it once, but I really liked it. It's the Jones Road Mascara. And then for single shadows. Um, 
I think I'm gonna do, I keep wanting to use this for some reason, MAC, all that glitters. I don't know why, but this shadow, I just love it. I'm gonna put that in for a single shadow. Maybe I'll put this in for lash primer, or not lash primer, for eye primer this time, the Mario, I forget the name of this, but it's like a little eye prep kit. I'm gonna put in this Give Single Shadow in Top Knot. This is so pretty, it's like a really beautiful golden wet cream to powder eyeshadow, it's really pretty. And then I think I might actually put, uh, where is it? This is Kaja Force Night, which I love, but kind of want to do, ooh, I haven't used this in a while either. I love this too, the Ilia. I forget the name of these, but they are matte liquid shadows. This is like a warm camel color. I might put that in. And then I saw someone using this the other day. It reminded me how much I love it. The Kaja Bento eyeshadow in Chocolate Dahlia. Okay, I think that's good for this drawer. Let's pick some new lip products. Okay, I know I wanna put in this Rare Beauty lipstick. I had my other shade in last time, but this is the newest one I have, which is Worth. I have this lip liner also, but this is a really pretty lipstick color. So I'm gonna do that one for sure. I'm gonna put this back in, the YSL, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's number 44. It's like, it's a really interesting pink. It's pink, but it has a little bit of like almost a brown undertone in it. It's just really nice and glossy, which is my favorite thing. Lip liners, I know I want this one. This is new, it's from um, LYS, it's the Speak Love Glide Lip Pencil. I got this recently from the Sephora sale, so I know I wanna use that some more. I'm gonna put this NYX Line Loud and Global Citizen back in. I also love that one. Yeah, I wanna do Urban Decay in Liar. This is almost exactly my, my natural lip color, just in lip liner. Um, okay, I'm gonna put the Sephora lip balm in. This is super random, but it's one of the, I forget what they're called, but they were matte lip balms by Sephora Collection. This one is a pink color. I wanna use that. Okay, I definitely wanna put in at least one, maybe both of these in beauty, in beauty project, I think. Lip oil glazes, I got these during the sale and I love these. They smell good, they're not sticky, they look pretty. I am loving these right now. So honestly, I might put both in just to have them. I'm gonna put this back in just cause I love this stuff. City Lips, just the clear one. I love to put that on first before I do my makeup. And okay, I think we'll stop there. All right, and last we have um, eyeshadow palettes. I seem to want to gravitate towards all my small eyeshadows. I'm not really sure why, but that's what I seem to be doing right now. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in. The CoverGirl Clean, I always forget the name of these, but this is Shimmering Beige. It's just a really beautiful neutral. This is a great drugstore eyeshadow quad, like really, really good. You know I wanna put these Surratt shadows back in, but I'm not going to, because I know I'll just keep using those if I do. Let me pick one of these. These are the Tom Ford um, quads. So this one is, what is this, Suspicion? Yeah, that one is maybe actually good. It's kind, of, It's neutral, but it's pretty, a little bit warm. I also have Nude Dip, but Nude Dip is pretty cool toned. Yeah, so that one is Nude Dip. I think maybe we will put in Suspicion from Tom Ford. And then, oh, the other thing I was gonna put in is, well, I kinda wanna put in my classic Tartlet in Bloom too. Let's do this. I was thinking I was gonna do BK Beauty, but I don't know why I'm really wanting to use Tartlet in Bloom. 
So we will put that in and then I might even stick this in because this is a really good spring palette. I don't know if you can even get this anymore, but it's the Wild Nothing palette from ColourPop. I really like this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these things away. We got everything put back in here. So I put primer up here. This time I have foundations, concealer and corrector, lip products, eyeliners, and brow things there. More lip products in here. Um, a few of my skin tints, powders, and highlighters in here. Blush and bronzer in here. I shadows in here and then I kept the bottom drawer the same with my skin so that is everything and now we'll do our makeup together okay let's get started with the makeup I do need to apply sunscreen I haven't done that yet today so we're gonna use the new one from Kosas I got this during the sale the Sephora sale but I haven't tried it out a whole, whole lot so I wanna try it again today. This texture on this sunscreen is very interesting. It has like a, it's not a typical sunscreen consistency. It definitely feels more like a serum-y texture, but I wanna keep testing it to see if it pills with a lot of things. Um, Cause that's like number one for me. I hate it when I have a sunscreen and it just pills with everything. So I wanna keep trying this out and pair it with different things. Okay, I gave that sunscreen like five minutes to kind of set down. Just kind of trying to be careful with mixing it with stuff cause I just don't like it when I have to start over or try to fix pilling issues. I just, it's not fun. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this Primer. This is the Makeup Forever Redness Corrector Step 1 Primer. This is actually my favorite green primer that I've tried. Um, I feel like this one applies the best and I feel like it makes the biggest difference. I think I'm just going to use this little Real Techniques setting brush. It's kind of the only brush I have over here that I think would work with this, but I'm literally just like lightly kind of blending this in. You could use like a more dense brush if you want to get a little bit more of the green pigment, but I'm just gonna use this. But you'll see it actually does make a difference. Definitely makes a difference. I'm just gonna take what's left on the sides of my nose and while I'm waiting for that primer to set down, I'm gonna take the Morphe Brow Wax and apply this in my brows first. And I'm just using one of the disposable spoolies. I actually have been trying to use just like normal brow gels in my brows and not like a wax like this, but I feel like I've gotten so used to waxes now that I don't like just like a normal brow gel as much because I feel like the hold just isn't there with typical brow gels if it's not a wax like this. So I feel like I've been missing using a wax instead. For corrector, I really want to use the EXA color correctors today. I'm going to use a little bit of 
both colors. So I'm going to use peach first. Honestly, use the most of peach because it does the most in terms of correcting under my eyes. And then I'll take a little bit of the pink, which is much brighter and kind of add just a little bit of that. Okay, I'm gonna blend these in with the Rare Beauty concealer brush and you'll see how well these pair together. It's so good. Honestly, I can wear these two on their own if I want and not even like look at that. So you get the correction from the peach color, but then that little bit of pink adds a little bit of brightness and it makes it so that the peach is not too orangey, too dark. It just tones it down like just a little bit. For a foundation today, I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown. So this is the Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation with SPF 15. I have the shade 26 Warm Ivory. And this is kind of a thicker formula so you can see it's not like running down my face. So I'm starting with just one pump and that honestly is probably too much. I'm using the 106 from BK Beauty to blend this in and while we're talking about BK Beauty, the 109 brush that I know so many of you have been trying to buy and it's been out of stock forever, it should be back in stock when this video goes up. So if it is, it will be linked in the description box, just FYI. And I'm applying just a super, super sheer layer of this because this is, I think they actually call this a full coverage foundation. I would say it's more of a medium coverage. Just used a little clip to kind of pull my hair back. Every time I think, oh, I'll leave my hair down today and just kind of tuck it behind my ears, I quickly regret that decision because <laughs> it just gets in my way. So I'm just kind of getting what's left on the back of my hand built up into the brush and just tapping that kind of right in the center of my face because that's where I need the most coverage. For bronzer, we're gonna do bronzer before concealer, I think. So I'm gonna use the NARS Cream Bronzer in Laguna 01. And I'm gonna use it with the Sephora 88 brush. This is the Pro Bronzer brush. I got this during the Sephora sale. I'm pretty sure this is a new brush for Sephora. So I'm kind of getting it, tapping it in the palm of my hand just to make sure I don't get too much. This is a really nice cream bronzer brush, by the way. It's kind of, it's more of a dome shape rather than like the 109 I was talking about earlier. That one is more angled and it's smaller, I would say. So if you prefer like a smaller brush or maybe you have a smaller face or you just like a smaller brush, you'd probably prefer the 109. This is such a good bronzer color if you are more fair. Right now I have no self tan on or anything so and I have not gotten any sun at all. Actually next week I'm going to be in Florida and I, it's actually like a last minute plan that we made. I'm, we're going to go to Disney. It's my husband and I's six year anniversary at the end of this month and we decided at the last minute to take a trip to Florida. So I'm going to Florida next week. Hopefully I can get like some actual sun there. As of right now, I have none. Okay, I'm having a really hard time deciding what blush to use. I really wanna use Bliss from Rare Beauty, but I also have these, the blush combo, the Sophia Richie blush combo that I was talking about earlier. So I kinda wanna use this. But I guess I could always do that in like a reel or something. Mm, yeah, we'll do that. I'm going to go with Bliss because that's just what I'm in the mood to use today. So I'm going to get some 
on the back of my hand. Okay, we'll use 109 from BK Beauty since we were talking about that earlier. So I loaded it on the 109 first and I'm tapping that shade on. So Bliss is a super light shade and it's more on the matte or it's a matte finish. So this one I find you do not have to be as careful with. I'm pretty sure this is the uh, lightest shade that they have, but it's very pretty. If you're scared of Rare Beauty blushes, you shouldn't be, number one. But this color is, I would say, probably the most approachable. But this 109 I was talking about earlier is actually a really great cream blush brush as well. I'm probably going to add some powder blush in a minute, but I'm going to use the Givenchy concealer first. I got this during the Sephora sale. I have the shade C180. Okay, and I'm going to blend that in with the A506. I do really enjoy this concealer so far. It's very new to me, but I really like it. I do think, um, I'm not sure if it claim. I think it says it's medium coverage. Definitely not a full coverage concealer. I don't think even if you like applied a lot of this, you're gonna get a ton of coverage from this one, but it's a really solid medium coverage and it's very hydrating. It spreads easily. It's a good one. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of this powder blush from Essence. This is the Pure Nude blush in Shimmering Rose. I said earlier, this one is super light, so it's not, um, I think it will pair well with Bliss because it's just a really light pink. It's not super intense or pigmented. Okay, now I'm gonna set with some powder. I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty loose powder in the shade light. And I'm gonna use a really big fluffy brush and just very lightly set, mainly the center of my face. I'm also gonna put a little bit of that under my eyes, but I'm gonna go back over my under eyes first just to make sure there's not a ton of creasing. And I'm not gonna use a ton of the powder, but I'm gonna use this small Morphe brush and just tap right here, mainly in this inner portion. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows and I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in Soft Brown. Done with the brows and I'm gonna go into this Mario uh, Master Eye Prep and Set. So I'm gonna mainly use this darker shade right here. So you kinda have to warm this up with your finger first and then apply it. But I'm just gonna do a really light layer of this first. I'm gonna take this Ilia um, matte eye tint in the shade Adobe. I've had this for a little while and I love it. I was using it all the time at one point and then I just started using other things but I really like this. It's just a really, really light brown. It doesn't add like a ton of color, but it's a really good like all over type shadow. So I put that on the lid and I'm just kind of blending it all over and bringing, or bringing it up. So you can see it just adds like a little bit of color. They do dry really quick though. So you do have to kind of work quickly with these, but... They're good one and done eyeshadows. Now I really want to use this Give Cream to Powder shadow. You guys have got to see this. So I have a little bit on the back of my hand. Could definitely do it with a brush, but I found I like it the most when I just kind of pat it in with my finger. And look at this, you guys. This is in the shade Top Knot. It is so pretty. I feel like I haven't heard many people talk about these, 
but this is so beautiful if you like that like wet eyelid kind of look i love this color i'm gonna do a little bit of liner with makeup by mario in soft brown i am just curling my lashes and then we'll apply some mascara i kind of want to use my elf one again but i also kind of want to use my jones road mm, i guess we'll use jones road so you can see it i wore this all day yesterday and it did not smudge or flake or anything i really enjoyed it so we'll do it again i wish it came in brown but i don't think it does it has a really nice um, curved wand, which I really like. One thing I've noticed about this mascara, which is really nice, is it's very buildable. Sometimes with mascara, a lot of them claim to be buildable, but the more you do build them, the clumpier they get, and they just kind of lose their that initial effect that they give, but this one you actually can build if you want a more intense look, but it's also a really pretty mascara with just one coat, honestly. I mean, I really like this one. Gosh, I wish they would make it in brown, though. Next, we have lips. We'll use a little bit of Rare Beauty lipstick in Worth. I saw someone the other day, I forget who it was, somebody on Instagram, they were saying you should put your lipstick on first and then your lip liner, which I never ever do, but I figured we'd try it today. So now I'm gonna go into Urban Decay Liar. And then I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of this in Beauty Project Glaze. This one is the Mystery Glaze one. All right, you guys, that is gonna be it for this month's everyday makeup drawer. I hope you enjoyed it. These are so fun. I always look forward to filming this every single month. So I hope you enjoyed it. I will have everything listed and linked below for you as always. They are affiliate links. So if you do make a purchase through them, I do make a small commission from that that helps support me and this channel. So thank you so much if you do shop through them. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already and follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1. And I will see you next time. Remember, simply be you. Bye.